Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm going to be showing you how to terminate Cat5 cable. All right, you're going to need two connectors, at least two. If you mess up, you're going to need more than two. All right, and then we're also going to need some cable, because you can't make cable without the cable. You're also going to need a crimpers and a test kit. All right, the first thing you're going to do is get the sheathing off. And to get the sheathing off, you can use uh, snips or whatever. I, I like to use a knife because it's nice and clean and simple. Just run it around here and pull it off. See? All right. And usually it'll come with uh, this little fuzzy stuff here. We don't need that, so just find some way to get rid of it. Now, you're going to spread these apart like that because you want, want to make it easy for you to get everything in the right order because there's a very particular order that's the standard that you're going to have to remember. So just untwist everything and make it easy for you to arrange everything. Now, you see this mess right here? You're going to have to get it in the right order. So start off with the white orange. White orange goes first, and this is from left to right. White orange, orange, and then white green, then solid blue, blue white, green, brown white, and then brown. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that these are all the same length. So for that, you're gonna need a uh, snipper to cut them. So you make sure you just, and this is where it can get messy, so make sure if you got a flat surface, you can clean up after yourself. Now, you, the way you have it left to right is orange to brown. With that facing you, you're gonna want the connectors here, these copper parts right here on the connector, to be facing you when you put it on. So you just slip it into there like that. And you look to the top here, and if you see the ends touching right there, that means it's all in and ready for you to crimp. You take the crimper, you insert it into the slot here, make sure it's all the way in, make sure the cable's all the way in the uh, connector, and then you just crimp it like that. You pull it out, and then you're ready to do the other side. And after you have both ends terminated, you're gonna to wanna to test them. So you just put them in the tester here and turn it on. Now you're gonna look at both lights on both sides to see that they match up. They'll count from one to eight. And as you can see, this cable is terminated the right way. 